Hey everyone, so today I went to pull out my roll of blue filament, which about a few months ago, but I haven't done much with it yet. So I went to go calibrate it, and when I started extruding it to get my E-steps rates, I noticed that there was popping and bubbling happening in the filament. So if I can get the camera to focus on it, you can see little tiny bubbles in the extruded filament. And that's caused by the filaments storing moisture from the air. Unfortunately, I am in Florida, and Florida means it's very humid, and I don't have an airtight container that I store my filament in yet. So I thought I'd show you guys how to dry out your own filament in case this happens to you. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the filaments from my extruder. So we have the filament in the oven, and I've set the oven to the lowest it can possibly go, about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you don't want it much hotter than that because ABS starts to deform at about 120 degrees Celsius, which would be about 250 or so. Um, so you want it as low as possible, and the way that I do it is I've just taken some crumpled piece of aluminum foil and put it in the door so that there's always a little airflow into the or out of the door so it doesn't get too hot in there you can still see into the oven so we'll leave this for two to four hours and then pull it out and put it back on the printer and see what happens so I just took the roll out of the oven it's been in there about three hours so it should be plenty dry but the only way to find that out is to actually throw it in the printer so if I pull the temperature get the temperature of it I just pulled it out. It got to about 90 degrees C in there. And then the outside's a little bit more than that. But it's been cooling down since I just pulled this out. So it was about 90 degrees while it's in the oven. And you can see that there's some deformation of the actual spool itself. And it was sitting like this in the oven. So this kind of like drooped down. So you can see the effect of it in the oven. Hopefully. It wasn't enough to damage the filament. I don't think it was. Everything else seems to be fine. Um, but the only way to know if it actually dried it out is to load it up in the printer and uh, we'll see if it still does the pops. Okay, so I have our roll that just came out of the oven inside the printer and I used it to extrude a little bit more filament. What I'm actually doing is I'm calibrating the E-steps. But what you can see here is some of the leftover filaments. And if we look at the filament before, and I get it to focus, you can see how there's all those, uh, the steam bubbles in the filaments. That was, again, caused by moisture in the filaments when it went through the extruder, and it heated up. Um, the water turned to steam and caused a bunch of little bubbles. So you can see how this filament's really, really rough. There's a bunch of bubbles and stuff on here and if you look over to the freshly extruded filaments from after we've dried it there's none of these bubbles whatsoever so yes uh, the drying went very well so again what I did is I just took the roll of filaments threw it in a 200 degree Fahrenheit oven the target temperature is between um, 80 and 90 degrees Celsius you don't want to go too much higher than that or else the filaments gonna actually melt um, but yeah, so leave it in a uh, 90 degree Celsius or 200 degree Fahrenheit oven for between four or two and four hours. I did mine for three hours and it worked very well. So now that we have some dry filaments, I'm going to put it and try to seal it off for one, seal it off from the air when it's not in use. That way I don't have to keep drying it. But there we go. We now know how to dry filaments after it's been exposed to some moisture. So thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you learned something. And let me know in the comments if you have another technique for drying filaments. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to see some more awesome projects. I'll see you guys next time.